Hi everybody. This time I wanted to talk about how to leave Jehovah's Witnesses. Before I do that though, there are some things that you have to understand about leaving Jehovah's Witnesses. First and foremost, there is no acceptable way to leave Jehovah's Witnesses. Once you have joined that organization, anything that you do to distance yourself from them is viewed as at the very best being spiritually weak, at the very worst being a bad person. Consequently, your friends and family will either try to get you to return to the meetings and to your spiritual strength, or they will shun you. So anytime you decide to leave the Watchtower, you have to accept ahead of time that the consequences are that there's no good way to do it, and accordingly, you will not be looked upon positively for doing so. This means your relationships with your friends and family will change. They won't be the same as before. This is not because your friends and family are bad people. It's because they're under the influence and to some extent control of an organization. And if you think about it, if you have been one of Jehovah's Witnesses for any amount of time, you too were under this influence, this control. Myself, personally, I can think back even to when I was a child of times that I would see things that would indicate to me that my beliefs were not correct. And I was trained by the Watchtower Corporation to shut my mind off and to push those doubts out of my head. Why? Because those doubts were evil. Doubting the Watchtower is equivalent to doubting God. So the reality of the situation is, to Jehovah's Witnesses, the Watchtower organization, JW.org, is their God. Now this is not specifically in print, and you will never hear this taught from the platform. However, in practice, in reality, if you disagree with something that's printed in the Watchtower, if you disagree with something that is said from the stage, especially by a circuit overseer or by an elder, uh, if you disagree with something the governing body says, you will be viewed as spiritually weak and needing help. And if you persist in that course, uh, it will get you kicked out of the organization. This is because, in Jehovah's Witnesses, what um, the Watchtower says, what JW.org says, has the same force as that which is said by God. Because the reality is, to Jehovah's Witnesses, JW.org and the Watchtower are God. They act this way, they will just never specifically state it, and if you say this to them, they will actually think you are committing blasphemy. However, if you act in a way that demonstrates that you have more respect for God than for the organization, they will act as if you are blaspheming God. So, leaving the Watchtower is not easy. One thing you have to understand as well is that the elders have no authority. The only authority they have over you is the authority that you give them. You might say, but they can take away my friends and family. However, that's just a matter of time. If you leave the Watchtower, your friends and family who are Jehovah's Witnesses will treat you different no matter what. So the elders may be able to take them away faster, but that's the only practical effect that they're going to have. Therefore, you do not have to talk to the elders. When they call, you don't have to answer. If they knock on your door, you don't have to answer. Um, you don't have to tell them what you think, what you feel, what you believe. You don't have to tell them whether or not you want to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses anymore. That's none of their business. Um, they'll keep hounding you, no doubt, depending on the congregation. You can just tell them, uh, Brothers, uh, thank you for coming, but right now I'm dealing with some things that I just need to work through. Uh, I thank you, brothers, for coming. I'll get back to you when I can. And they'll try to press you for, well, when do you think that is? And say, I don't know. I've never worked through this type of thing before. Um, I'll, I'll contact you when I'm ready, though. Thank you. Always keep it friendly. Always keep it cordial. This will, will help you to stay in the best footing with them. They are trained to believe that anyone that rejects the Watchtower is going to be a bad person, uh, an angry person, and to take issue with them. So if you react with them in a civil manner, um, if you thank them for coming, but respectfully tell them that you can't talk with them, you'll buy yourself time. Additionally, if you decide that you do want to talk to an elder, that certainly is your right. But I'm going to explain to you the way that works. If there is more than one elder present, they are in the role of ga gathering evidence so they can basically disfellowship you or make the statement that you have disassociated yourself. So if you do not want this outcome to happen, if you want to talk to an elder, make sure you are only talking to one elder. 
and never say the same thing to more than just that one elder. Uh, ask when, they're, when they call you, um, is there someone else on the phone? Uh, make sure that you're only talking to one elder. If you talk to two or more elders, they are looking to gather evidence against you. This is because they are in effect, or they are in reality, servants of a publishing corporation. They are there to enforce the rules of that publishing corporation. Uh, one way to view them is the stormtroopers of that publishing corporation. They might act kind, they might act nice, and to be honest, many of them really believe that they're doing the right thing. They really believe that they're helping you to stay in God's good graces. This is not true. So you have to understand who the elders really are and when you decide how you want to interact with them. And that's completely up to you. Just make sure that you understand the real purpose of their visit. Uh, the real purpose, of course, let me be specific, it's not really to help you, despite the fact they may believe it is. The real purpose of their visit is to try to get you to follow um, JW.org rules or to admit that you no longer want to be associated with Jehovah's Witnesses. That is the purpose of their visit. And the tools that they have to provide help is nothing more than a way to get you back to association with Jehovah's Witnesses and engagement in preaching activities. So that's the reality of the elders. That's the reality of the way you will be viewed when you stop going to the meetings. Uh, it's unfortunate and it's hurtful. Uh, being one of Jehovah's Witnesses can be viewed as being very similar to, if not akin to, being in an abusive relationship. In abusive relationships, oftentimes, uh, the person is told that they're worthless without the relationship. They're not going to do better than that relationship. Uh, they really need that relationship if they're going to make anything of themselves, so on and so forth. And there are various different tactics to reinforce that. Well, look at the Watchtower. They say, where else would you go? Uh, there's no better way of life. Uh, why would you want to do anything else? So Jehovah's Witnesses are basically taught to believe that life cannot possibly be happy if they are not one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Very similar tactics, if not the same tactics, to that of an abusive relationship. So my recommendation is if you decide to leave the Watchtower, or if you have left, if you have not already done so, uh, therapy can be a great help to assist you with working through the things that have been done to you while you are one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and to help you to process some of that and realize the truth um, about what that relationship really is. And if ultimately you decide that you preferred being one of Jehovah's Witnesses, you are always welcome to go back. That's your choice. So thanks for watching.